So here we have a 10 minute active stand test. And this stand test can help with diagnosing POTS, which is postural tachycardia syndrome. As you can see, the heart rate on the pulse oximeter, which is the bottom number, is increasing on standing. We've now hit 120 beats per minute from a heart rate in the 70s on lying down. This meets the POTS criteria and the criteria for a POTS diagnosis is an increase in heart rate from lying to standing of 30 beats per minute, 40 beats per minute in teenagers or above 120 beats per minute, which needs to be sustained for the entire period of standing. So as you can see here from the lying to standing position, the heart rate has increased from within the 70s to 120 plus within around 30 seconds. And that is sustaining at that level and increasing up to around 130 at the moment. Often patients start to feel lightheaded, dizzy, like they may faint, nauseous, have headaches, generally quite unwell at this point. Now a 10 minute active stand test takes your vitals at different points. So Upon lying down, you'll have your vitals taken, generally pulse and blood pressure. Here we just have pulse, which is on the pulse oximeter. As mentioned, it's the lowest number. The number above is oxygen saturation, which for this test we disregard. We are solely focused on the bottom number, which is the beats per minute. And we're now almost at 140. So having your heart rate measured when lying down gives you a baseline and then upon standing you'll have your heart rate measured again immediately and then at several points throughout the active stand test generally 2, 5 and 10 minutes and if at a point during those 10 minutes your heart rate reaches the POTS criteria of 30 beats per minute, 40 beats per minute increase in teens or above 120 beats per minute and is sustained at that level. This is indicative of POTS. So as you can see, we're now coming up to four minutes of standing. The heart rate is continuing to increase from a lying of around 70 beats per minute to stand in 30 to 40 seconds in we were at 120 beats per minute now at four minutes we're in the 140s here we're hitting 144 beats per minute and as you can see shaking is starting to occur a lot of people find that their body is actually trembling and they become breathless, feel very nauseous and feel the uncontrollable urge to sit or lie down because this can make people feel very, very unwell. A heart rate of this level in the 140s is generally what you would expect during a cardio workout at the gym. In the average person not just from lying to standing 
as you can see we're halfway in now we're at the five minute mark and we're at 146 beats per minute here and it's still increasing we're about to hit 150 beats per minute as you can see the heart rate is sustained at this level we are past the five minute mark so halfway into the active stand test Many patients struggle to complete the active stand test due to symptoms being so severe. Depending on what type of POTS you may have, you may also have a drop in blood pressure which may cause you to faint before the active stand test is complete. But as you can see in a POTS patient that the heart rate is sustained at this increase throughout the entire time of standing. As you can see here, the heart rate peaks at 156. Symptoms are getting very, very severe here. You can physically see shaking and trembling again. We're coming up to almost seven minutes of standing now. And from the original lying heart rate to the peak heart rate of 156, which is what the peak of this stand test was, we have an 81 beat per minute increase from lying to standing, which more than qualifies for a POTS diagnosis because it is sustained. Also, we have symptoms ongoing during this stand test of shakiness, trembling, nausea, dizziness, lightheadedness, that uncontrollable need to lie down. The need to lie down is what the patient feels necessary to relieve the symptoms because those symptoms of having a high heart rate are relieved in POTS patients when lying down. Symptoms such as shakiness, dizziness, nausea, headaches, they can continue but the heart rate will settle on lying down which you will see at the end of this stand test. It may take a little longer in some patients than others to come back to normal. But as you will see at the end of this stand test, upon lying down, the heart rate returns to normal quite quickly. But symptoms such as nausea and shaking continue for a while after. Having POTS is very difficult to manage. This is an everyday occurrence for POTS patients. It's very difficult to find the correct treatment that works to reduce the increase in heart rate on standing, to reduce the symptoms. And POTS patients have to live with this daily. Each time a POTS patient goes from lying or sitting to standing, they have an increase in heart rate. So we're coming towards the end of the 10 minute active stand test now. The heart rate is still 145 beats per minute from an initial lying heart rate in the 70s and as indicated on screen the maximum increase was 81 beats per minute just through this stand test. 
Now we have hit the 10 minute mark. You will see what happens on lying down. And you will see a heart rate of 143 come back down to normal. In a very short space of time as well here. As mentioned previously, it may take a little longer for some patients. But as you can see, the heart rate is already dropping. It happens quite quickly here. We are getting towards 100 beats per minute and anything below that is no longer classed as tachycardia. So we've dropped from 145 beats per minute to 100. We are no longer tachycardic and the heart rate is normal again.